Here we got a super rare Tamiya Lamborghini Countach XB RC car. These things are super rare. They stopped making them a few years ago now. And this one here, brand new in a box. So the only sort of little peek I've had is actually in this little window here. The box is unopened. It's still got the original Tamiya tape on there was held the box shut. I said to you guys before in the video, what should I do with it? And a lot of you guys had different ideas. Originally, I was gonna unbox it and make it silly fast. However, because it's so rare, I think it's probably a shame to destroy it. So I wanna let one of you guys win it. So there's one on eBay at the moment. This one is nearly $1,500 and this one's used. And if you look through the pictures, the box is a little bit battered. I don't think it's been used much, but it does say in the description that it has been out of the box. So here's what it looks like. Up on here is a little bit of techno babble. It's quite a basic RC car, actually. I mean, whoever wins it is probably not going to use it. I think it's best going to just be to sit on a shelf. That's how old it is, look. It's even got the old antenna radio with the old crystals that you used to put in there. Let's put that back on there. So if you want a chance of winning this, I'm going to put a link to that down below in the description box. Also going on, I've just been building this Armour Creighton 8S EXB Street Weapon. This is the one that we had at the skate park, brand spanking new. I think it was like the first outing. We jumped it really high, landed it quite hard on concrete, and it ripped both the front and the rear bulkhead clean off of the chassis. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try that flat out, see what happens. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! Oh, how severe! Oh my God! You're not going to believe this. Is that a You're not. Uh, oh, it's crippled. What? What has happened to it? Oh, look! Front bulkhead off. Rear bulkhead off. Getting it now. Right, here we go. Oh. Turn the Back out. I don't think that's quite right. So this thing here has just had a full rebuild. I put M2C chassis on it, a whole load of other upgrades inside. This can actually now run on 12S LiPo. So there's going to be a video on this very soon. The Tamiya Blitzer Beetle, I built this on a live stream actually, on this channel. I built most of it on the live stream, ran out of time and then just finished the last of it off in my own time. This was one of the Dream RC cars that I wanted when I was a kid and now I finally got one. So I'm probably going to keep it a shelf queen unless any of you guys have got any better ideas let me know in the comments another dream rc car of mine when i was a kid was this beetle it's an fg marder bug you can't get them anymore so i've managed to get some of the pieces and so far this is brand spanking new but i want to modify it i want to put a more powerful engine into it also I want to upgrade all the electrics and maybe put some front disc brakes on it so that one i'm probably going to run it once and then it's going to be a shelf queen down here i've got another one this one here is a used one and this one here, I'm actually going to use a little bit more. But that one there is going to look the same as that one. Slick tyres, same paint job, but shelf queen. Up there's another Dream RC car when I was a kid. I've still got to build it. There's that one up there. Manta Ray. I actually had a Manta Ray. This was my first ever hobby grade RC car. I've done a video about this before. Up here is a new release and with all the upgrades on it. Up here is also a re-release. This one here is completely stock. Been doing a little bit of work on the Isle of Man studio. There's a bit echo in here, but I've got these roof tiles here, so these should deaden the sound. And I'm gonna get some more stuff along here, so that's gonna deaden the sound a little bit too. Anyway, these are the roof tiles, and they've just got your sticky back stuff on there, so you pull that off. A bit hard one-handed, but uh, something like that. And then you just come along like that, stick it on like that. Boom! 
Got them all in now. And just like magic, I've got some more shelving put up. Up here, we've got the ravines that we're gonna turn into a 12 wheel drive, 12 wheel steer car. Here, I've got a bully, two racers. Gotta do a video on all these micros. Also got some FPV micros, some other micro stuff here. Up here, I've got a couple of LMT minis that you've just seen in the video recently. And I've got this Polaris from Lossy. Also got a new Mini B brushless here that I've been doing a video on. So bit of bashing bit of racing so we've got to take it racing once more now that i've modified it and then that video can go out so moto needs a new rider the head came off and you can't just buy this you've got to buy the whole rider so i've got the whole rider here look but i think on this one this head is part of the body so i don't think it's going to come off again i don't know maybe i'm wrong i don't know let me know if you know got an avanti up here that was a childhood dream rc car so i'm probably going to build that on a live here i've got the parts to fix the speed sausage we've got the rosser event coming up very soon with this so i've got to get it working oh look here xrt ultimate edition up here i've got a sledge that's been heavily modified i've just got to finish that video off up here i've been setting up my office so my computer station here camera up there i want to get back on to doing some business videos this is one of these desks that you can move up and down look cool thing with that is you can stand up and work and then like right, you know if you're doing a lot of hours sitting down isn't good for you and it even goes all the way down as well so you can even kneel and work if you wanted to i've still got to tidy up all these cables i mean what do you guys do with all this lot i mean what a mess i mean look at it it's just everywhere let me know in the comments, how would you fix all that lot? Then over here, I've got some of the books that I like to read. These are mainly business books. Here, I've got my SCX6 that I've just put on these portal axles from Global RC. Already done a little bit of filming with it, but we've got to do a little bit more. And then here in my garage, I finally got the Lambo here on the Isle of Man. No speed limits here, so we can have some fun. Got a rack here to put all the primal trucks on. So I've just done a video on this Primal Monster truck. And in this box here, I've got another one. And here, uh, got a Taylor 71cc engine. So that one's gonna go dual shock, 70 engine. Got a few other upgrades in this box here that we're gonna put onto that. Here's the exhaust that we're gonna put on it. Man, Taylor really do make some lovely engines. And this one here's got a little silencer on it because these things on a Taylor engine, unsilenced, are loud. And hopefully that, it's going to just dull the noise down just a little bit because it, when you're standing behind these things without a silencer, it actually hurts your ears. And here's the video that I just put out on the main channel. Check out what happened to these tyres, man. And you can actually win one of these completely for free. Not that one, a brand new one. And that brand new one is there. So if you click on the link down below in the description box, come along to that one there, look free. So everybody can have one free ticket and you cannot buy any tickets. So everybody, it's got one chance to win this. Click on enter raffle, you get your ticket, and then this car could become yours for free. It comes with all these M2C parts, perfect pass servo, all those parts there, and it's all fully built, ready to rip, brand new. Somebody did actually win this in a previous raffle, however, they never came forward. It's been a few months now, so one of you guys can have it for free.